Welcome back to Boston Pilots. Let's play some more Jupiter Universe Atlas 4. We're still Schwabia, we're still going for everything is coming up. Manaus, we have become Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, but we still have to fully decentralize the Empire. And we had issues with the Imperial Authority, as we knew we would have. Mm. We've already drastically reduced the amount of provinces in the Empire that are under control of non-member states by taking, I believe, six of them from the French, three from ourselves, uh, for ourselves, and three um, released into Provence. But uh, we still have some, mostly in the Ottomans, and then a bunch of heretic princes. I believe I just started uh, fabricating on Saxony, yeah, that's right, um, with the plan to get into war with Savoy, who is a heretic. Brandenburg, Brandenburg is not a heretic. Uh, we also have a bunch of claims on Pomerania, and we want to just get in there, take a bunch of land from them, at least all the stuff in Mecklenburg, so that we can, uh, at some point, convert them to a proper religion as well. Right now they should be pretty high over the limit, 120%. Yeah, but if we take um, all of Mecklenburg in one war, we'd probably be fine uh, doing a conversion in a second war. And slowly and, oh, but hopefully, surely, I guess, uh, get ourselves to some positive authority gain here. Not really much else we can do. Yeah, we can try to make another free city or two, but that's just worth half a point. And more members. It's really worth very little. Um, so mainly, mainly it's just heretics. Heretics are just the best, I mean, the worst. The best way to get um, rid of those penalties is to get rid of heretics. I just noticed that <laughs> the three provinces we took in France were artfully <laughs> not once in the Burgundy trade note, which we have been um, trying to, or considering, to get a foot into. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure how we're going to proceed from there just yet. I really want to get to the point where we collect in Burgundy, but at 21% it's not worth it. Our power, even in our home node, is not as great as it might be, as we might want it to be. Partially because of everybody who wants to steer it from here getting a 50 trade power bonus, uh, which is uh, one of the big problems with inland nodes. Big advantage too if you're steering, but it's a big problem if you're trying to collect. Also, we can't have a trade fleet help us with that. Which makes me reconsider once again whether we wouldn't instead want to be like in Lübeck or even the English Channel instead of Burgundy. Yeah, we have a lot of more power in Burgundy right now than those places, but we could have boats. But right now boats are not really a thing anyways, that's I guess fine. I believe we have had Cleves become a free city already, right? No, we have not. But they should be willing to. Grand free city status. Oh, I need a diplomat. Eh, come home from Cleves, I guess. And then go back to Cleves and make them a free city. Thank you, Cleves. I did ally them, so that's the thing we kind of want to stop now. No longer need to be allied to you. I'm not quite capped on any powers, we're still ahead of time, I'm not going to marry you, please. Instead, I'm going to break that relationship when I can. Uh, should be sometime soon. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Dissolve this alliance. Thank you very much. Just need to have them be a free city. Try to have a quick look at other interested people. I mean, I'll have more free cities if they're Available Byrod might work, even though they just insulted me. Mantua, and that's about it. What's the minus 1000 or too large? Yeah. Um, so Byrod and maybe Mantua. Hey Byrod, you are proper religious, properly religious. You. I mean, I assume you will be. Yeah. If we get them to 100, they will be happy. So I'll ally them. I mean, 200. <laughs> uh, opinion. Then they should be happy to become a free city. Do we have any claims in Burgundy? We do not. But we have so many claims that we have to, and we're limited by expansion right now. So I don't think I actually want to go ahead and make more necessarily. 
the Holland is a bit of a problem, isn't it? How much of a Fosco cost would you be? 109%. So unless we get more admin efficiency, it's not gonna be good enough. Maybe we get the next set of admin efficiency at level 23. Yeah, maybe just wait for a while. Oh, we need to break down Holland in a war, but I don't know about that one. This decision is just standardized uniforms, which just increases what drill gain, I believe. Yeah, I do like drilling, but not so much for the drill gain, and more because um, I get professionalism from it. You're taking attrition while you're drilling. That is not how this is supposed to go. Uh, trade power tax on manpower in our shuffle book. This is probably pretty relevant. But you have decent amounts of trade. Uh, I just take the trade power, I guess. With all the mercantilism we have, that should be a decent amount. Why was I improving with Saluzo? I don't remember. I know that at the end of the last episode I said. <laughs> That I wouldn't remember my plans, and that uh, is turning out to be quite true. Um, put some development into maybe Hoya, sure. And what was I just trying to do? Oh yeah, I'm trying to butter up Bayreuth. Um, did we improve here? We did, so that's not going to help. We need another... And we can marry them, which is probably going to cost me a bunch of legitimacy, which I don't like. I mean, I like legitimacy, <laughs> I don't like losing it. We need three more points, so it's actually 25. I'm going to give them military access, that should be one point. And then I'm just going to send them a gift, and it'll be fine. And I'm not going to marry. I could have checked whether it cost me prestige, but I'm almost there. Uh, not legitimacy, but I'm 99% sure it would. So, nah. What about you again? Oh, your bishopric. Does that make you super unlikely? Yes. Fine. Now I checked again on rules for joining for AI joining the empire, and it seems that vassals never do. I just clicks through something there. I do get to have a government reform, so that's very nice. <laughs> Do we go back to Parliament? And do we just grab the max absolutism? It's a pretty weak reform. I mean, essentially all of these are very weak, unless you take parliamentarism. Just that I'm pretty sure we'd have to grant our Parliament seats again. And by doing that, we'd lose a bunch of absolutism, which we could then regain by clicking other buttons and stuff, but it's, it's going to be somewhat costly. And no, I don't think it, it lowers absolutism in general, having a parliament. I don't think that's, that has an effect on max absolutism. We had such a, well, we have such a big country right now that we would need to have a lot of seats. So winning um, debates would be quite costly, and handing out all the land to the par all our land to the parliament would cost us a lot of absolutism. I feel like it might be too late, and this might still be the best choice, but it might also be too late to do parliament. You really want to do it before you have absolutism, so you have all your seats in place, or most of your seats in place, and it's going to take the max absolutism. It, it's, it's a good chance that's wrong. <laughs> Not gonna lie, good chance that's incorrect. But can you do it, right? Now, um, I had a general die, didn't I? Um, let's grab a new one. Yeah, sure. Get to drilling. You can also drill. And then keep on buttering up. Half price trader, alright? Keep on buttering up you. Um, no. 
you. <laughs> Free city status is two points off, and we said we can do that with a gift. I think this is actually enough. Would be unfortunate if it wasn't, because I then would have to just wait another month to do something else. But this looks like it's gonna be fine. There we go. Free city, and then in a month we can cancel their um, uh, the alliance. I'm actually gaining right now, but that's because the Empire's at peace. But we're close to not losing while it's not at peace, that's kind of nice. Mm. Yeah, it's still, still just heretics, heretics, heretics. Name of the game. But I'm not super unhappy to sit on peace for a moment here. Not really because it gives me um, Imperial Authority, that's just very little authority right now. But mostly because we have so much aggressive expansion that it's just, yeah, it's fine to sit on this for a while. Now let's have a quick look at buildings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good enough. That's a church. These ones are just okay. These ones are garbage. That's great workshop. Okay workshop. Okay workshop. And trade to pose. Augsburg's actually not horrible. Well, it's just... Um, hmm. It's also not great. Might still pay off. Quite... It's a bit on the verge of what I would usually build. Ah, let's just do it. It's not like we don't have the money. Do not worth... Mm. Uh, are we still converting stuff? Yeah, we are. They're not going to get the pop-up, I don't think, for conversion of subjects, so I have to well, either react to the, hey, we just converted something message and set them somebody else, somewhere else, or regularly check. Um, give 25 admin to Hungary and they'll like me for it, or broken promises. I mean, I don't mind your opinion. But I kind of feel generous right now. Hey, more paper influence for more conversions. And you can see we don't get a pop-up, so let's continue this. Help our Hungarian friends to be proper Catholics. Ugh, Orthodox. Ugh. <laughs> um, wait, I need to cancel an alliance, right? To Bayoit. Because you know, free city. Yes, yes, yes. Dissolve. That was just for the opinion boost. And then, that's fine. Yeah, you can see people still, still care a bit. Not hugely, I mean, some people have over 50, but it's not relevant people. Ugh. I think I'm gonna lose the stab. Although no, we have essentially no, we have four um, reform progress right now, so I can easily accept the demands. That's fine. Uh, I would have been willing to take the stab hit if it was extra 25 progress, because we have a very hard time getting progress, and getting stab back is not not very hard for us right now, with all the papal influence we have and all that. Speaking of, should we be doing anything here? I don't think we need to have a section of war. Uh, we can't even do it. Where is it? Oh, is that not a thing when you have... Oh, when you're a defender of the faith. Or maybe you already have paper signature of war. Maybe it's both. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how that differs from the usual paper sanction. Diplo rep. Don't need mercantilism, obviously. Uh, we already have the this one going. Don't need to buy any of that. Or that. Yeah. Yeah. You want to invest into being the, the controller. Nah. 
Not sure why I would need that right now. Or even want it. What I want is a reduction in AE. And a fast one. Um, capping out again. So, my tech is still... Ah, uh, next year. But next year is still a bit off. So, let's do a tiny little spend in... Oof, why not in Bamberg? Uh, I do not have a crash development on there, I don't think. Bamberg, Bamberg, Bamberg. Bamberg, there you are. Upper Franconia. Uh, and car development. And just let them have like a click and a click and a click. And that's probably, I uh, might not, not quite be enough to get me through the year, we'll see. Pomerania dislikes me, that's quite okay right now. So why was I improving with you? Oh, because I wanted you to join the Empire, right. Thing is, I think I also need my opinion of them to be high. Which is a tough thing to do. Alliance would obviously help. Maybe we should ally them. Because that's a mutually directed thing, right? They're not in the Empire. They're not. I try this. I'll ally Saluzo. And I might even marry them. Just to get this this number here up. Their opinion of me. Uh, my opinion of them. Minus five is a lot though. I'd have to buy that back up. I mean I can have drift. We get two Peggy, it's fine. Let's go do this just to get these modifiers running. And I'll ask them for military access, that should me give me uh, another 10 points. Um, I could actually vassalize them for free. Which would not add them to the Empire, but then I could eat them at some point. Hmm. I mean, I'd rather have them in the Empire, but... Let's give them a bit of time. See if somehow they decide to join the Empire, now that they like me so much. If they don't, I'll just uh, offer them vassalization. And yeah, I'll have to do another round of clicks here. And if they like that, then... we just eat them at some point, including them and Hungary. Mm, Hungary. And get their provinces into the Empire that way. Whoa. What? <laughs> the transformation of this nation's government is unconstitutional and unlawful. We demand the restoration of the constitutional monarchy. Restoration? So I could lose separation of power, which I assume is a government reform. Probably this one. No, that's royal decree. No. What is separation of power? Separation of power. Training glass, training wine, discontent. Different epics, Sunday schools. There. You have an active limited constitutional separation of power, extending the independence of the legislature and the crown. People enjoying their newfound freedoms. No efficient. When did that. What's that from? Is that an event? Could I have gotten that this event before I took. The government reform, because then I missed out on essentially free government reform. Uh, EU for separation, separation of power. And formalize separation of powers, blah, 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 pleasure requirements, half parliamentarism. Does not have separation of power. Okay, so we got this modifier back when we had parliamentarism from a choice. 
and you get to keep that until you have constitutional restoration. Yeah, it requires you to reach Tire 5 in government reform, so um, we could not have gotten this event before ch choosing Tier 5. And then this essentially just happens. So essentially, if you've been a parliament and then you stop being one, these guys will go and ask for it back. <laughs> Ah, interesting. I mean, I can't lose to stability, which is painful, but not the end of the world. And five thirty-two noble regiments, which is you know whatever. It's even in Chur, where I believe I have a fort. Yes. Um. So these rabbits are not a problem. Or. We swap over to parliamentarism, which I've been considering anyway a minute ago. <laughs> and we gain a stability out of it. Dang it, I was happy to have completed my decision. I like having essentially 100 absolutism, that's very good. And we'd lose 5 max absolutism from simply from taking parliamentarism because we lose the other reform. Whatever it's called, Royal Decree. And we are going to lose a bunch of absolutism from granting, handing out parliament seats. But that's not max absolutism, it's just absolutism, so we can buy that back up. <laughs> Parliamentarism. Let me check on the parliament government formants again. Not because. I don't know how it works. I mean, I know how it generally works. Um, but what I'm interested in is how many seats I'll have to grant at our current size. And if it's true that by waiting you can grant seats for free. Uh, da, 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 da. Province assigned a seat after decreases by 0.15 per province development. So that's going to be a lot of absolutism we lose. A point a certain percentage of nations own and called must have seat parliament. Uh, a random event may occur if you don't have enough seats, giving you the choice to lose development or add it to parliament. Okay. The the wiki just says when a province is assigned a seat, you get you lose absolutism. Doesn't say that that doesn't happen when you do it through a through the event. Also doesn't say that it does, so also doesn't say how many seats I need to have. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Consider adopting the to avoid loss of absolutism, consider rushing political reform so you can get it before the age of nah, the duh. <laughs> Yes. And Consider pairing political absolutism tier 7 government reform with parliamentarism as it helps to. Oh, we get 5 max absolutism here, which would make up for the 5 we don't get from here, so we could still get, still get to 100. Even if we lost this. Okay, that's nice. Is there anything we're missing out of? No, no, no. No, this is gonna be the reform, reform anyway. So once we get to tier 7, we're fine. It's gonna be a while though. Um, I might go for Parliament here. Let me see, how many... Yeah, we have a lot of... Well, I say a lot. <laughs> It's not actually a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four. We have some places where we can reduce autonomy for some regaining of absolutism. We can buy some legitimacy, we can maybe buy down some rebels. I think I'd go for the parliament again. 
<laughs> Wasn't. Didn't take us very long. Did it now. We need 12 seeds. That's gonna be painful as fudge. But hey. Uh, if you do not increase the number of seeds, additional seeds will be assigned automatically. I'm gonna go by the assumption that that also causes uh, absolutism loss from how the wiki reads and do the assignment myself here instead of doing the automatic one. But I'm not. I don't know that that's true. Now this gives us the interesting question, right? Um, because we giving parliament to a province. Uh, I think I can't do it in the capital, right? Because that's automatically uh, there or something. Um, no, I can. So that gives 10% production efficiency, tax, manpower, and sales. So it's money, money, and manpower. All of which relates to development. Um, and all three kinds of development. So you want the parliament seats to be in your highest developed provinces for the most benefit. But that's going to be the one that costs the most absolutism. If I do this, I pay 4.8 absolutism. Which is pretty huge. I think we use this period of peace. We use this period of peace, drop our absolutism a bit, and then regain it as fast as we can before we have the next relevantly relevant big war. I think that's fine. I don't know how low I'm willing to go if I actually want to do all, all the seats. Also, can I do a debate real quick now? Like, while I have a minimum number of seats? And next year, years, bonus merchants. I can't buy mercantilism anymore, unfortunately. The bonus merchant should allow me to upgrade another center of trade. That's kind of nice. And uh, we don't really care about any of the rest. Select this, give these guys diplomatic support. And yeah. And uh, no, we could try to sit, sit on this, but I assume the events handing out seats are gonna happen relatively quickly. Maybe not, though. I wonder. I think we should wait for at least one of those events to happen. Um, and see if that actually hurts our absolutism. Find out, right? Right now at 92 of 94, if we get close to capping, we should assign another seat. Yeah, okay. I think we have a decent uh, absolutism gain, right? Should have plus two or something. Uh, just automatic. Uh, yep, yeah, we do. And then obviously there are buttons we can click. There's that extra merchant, we should use it. The question is, do we use it for steering or do we use it for collecting in Burgundy? If we use it for steering, where do we use it? We do not have a guy in Pesh yet. Although the steering in Pesh doesn't matter super much. And there's essentially no value to steering from there. It is an inlet node, so we'd have some power, but there's not a lot of money in it. Let's see what collecting in Champagne does for us. Right now, we're making 74.5 ducats. I'm gonna collect with Friedrich Wurst here. <laughs> and um, we're gonna upgrade the scent of trade. That's not gonna be done in time for next month, so I don't have to worry about it fudging our numbers. Um, where would I wanna upgrade though? Probably in like Salzburg, eh? I mean, that's what needs a level 2 cent of trade anyway, but I think level 3 is good. Oh no, it does upgrade immediately, never mind. And it doesn't have an appear time, I'm, I got confused there. So my numbers are gonna be a bit off. So, 74.5 ducats. And then on the next month you take. How did I just lose Congress in Pomerania? So we gained five-ish. 
ducats in trade. That can't all be from the ascent of trade, I don't think. How did I just lose my claims? Oh, because I don't have nobles anymore. Huh. <laughs> I didn't consider that, did I now? Um, <laughs> because I got rid of the nobles estate. Uh, we got rid of the agenda that they had. Or it's because we can't do summon the diet when you are a parliament. I completely forgot about that. Hmm. So much for eating our way into Pomerania here with those claims. I'm going to remake the claims by hand because I still think going in there is worth it. Well, it might be worth it. Converted more stuff. Let's quickly convert more stuff. Uh, religious. Oops. Not unpause. I want to hit C there. I hit space instead. Um, can I? I don't think I can put the... No, I can't put my absolutism on the outliner here. Because I do want to know when we get close to capping. And head out another seat. Nurturing from Schwabe to Fars has been terminated. Anybody else want to buy my knowledge? Probably running out of people who want... No, still some. I really wish this gave me a number on how much money I learn. Because that's all I care about here. Alodia would be 2.25. Fazan would be nothing. And Kazan... 0.04. So it feels like a Lordia is the place to go. And there's just somebody over here. Or there. No. It's still a Lordia. Take their money. Keep on. Oh no, we don't cap anymore, right? Because we're gonna be able to take tech next. <laughs> text next? Tech next year. Uh, speaking of next year, I should probably do some one more seed, right? Yeah, we're actually quite close to capping here. Doesn't seem to be on a monthly take, on a yearly take. It does say yearly, but it's probably on a monthly anyway, but still. Close enough to that thing that I'm just going to hand out another one. And you know what, Breisgau? Breisgau, you can be the lucky one. I don't know, somebody. Here, Strasbourg needs a seed. And there are four absolutism lost. But we're regaining that rather quickly right now, so it's kind of okay. Tempt to go to speed 5, but um, I do want to keep hitting that. Um, or I want to hit that generally tick and make sure that we don't over cap. Are we can over cap and dip. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, it's just a random added seed for Augsburg here from the event. Now, did we lose extra? I don't think we lost extra there. Right, we're at 93, we lost four points something. Okay, if this is just random seeds automatically granted, then I'm happy with that. My provinces are all pretty good, or most of them are. I don't mind not choosing. But I'm gonna have to spend a click of admin on something. Um, like development in environment. Still saving my house itself, in case we need to develop an institution. Maybe that's just dumb. But we've discussed this in the past. Fars are taking Luristan. Oh no. Not Luristan. Okay, this is Nutty Artillery Tech time. It's also Idea time. Nut Nutty Artillery Tech means to me that we probably want to buff out our armies a bit more, or have backup stacks with extra cannons. Because right now I have only 10 cannons in most of my armies. And that way we don't really fill the back row. The thing is if I add cannons to full combat width, which is like 36 now probably. 36. Then our stacks are too big for sitting anywhere. Because of um, attrition, right? So, I'm not quite sure how we're going to deal with that. I want the big stacks, and I want them to have a lot of attrition. <laughs> yes, I want them to have a lot of attrition. I want them to have a lot of cannons. 
but I do not want to have them to have a lot of attrition. Hmm. I think I probably make them to such a size that they can still sit and drill in my high development provinces here. And if there is at war, I'm going to try to move them in half stacks and then just get them together for extra battles. But we're going to do that next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, then please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And anything you want to say to me, please uh, just do that in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.